Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I have nursery wall art for you guys, so let's get on to the video. So today I wanted to show you guys the wall art that I've made for baby number two. And as you can see in this video, I am still pregnant and still awaiting the baby and I did want to make sure this was done before the baby was born. I did not want to have to wait until after birth because this was kind of a plan for me and my mother to do and we both wanted to draw the wall art for this baby as well. I've done that for my daughter too. My daughter has got a similar kind of trees on there and different kinds of animals and her animals were like silhouette forms so i think art wise i've even with my wall art i suppose i've come a long way so i wanted to keep that style quite similar but different as well of course because this is a different child so it deserves its own wall art here and so i went for the same trees as my daughter has too and I love how they look. They're kind of like, what are they called? Birch trees. And I really like the white lines in between them and how everything just looks. I think the style is very nice. So that's what I went for. And I wanted to make my life as easy or as simple as possible here because when you're pregnant, you don't want to be in one or different positions or awkward positions for a very long time. So this took me in total seven and a half hours. And in hindsight, I can't believe that is how long it took. That looks like, that sounds like forever, <laughs> but I suppose it makes sense. I was on my own doing this this time because my mother couldn't come over. Um, unfortunately, I wish she could, but they had to cancel everything. And so I had to do everything by myself. And in if you saw that in the frame as well, I did have a little bit of help from my husband and my daughter who came in the frame as well. She really wanted to pick up a brush and try and paint too, which was super adorable. I thought that was so incredibly cute. Now I did block her out with uh, the mosaic blur tiles as you could see there because we've made the decision that we do not want to share our children their faces on public social media. So that's why she was blurred out there, but it was so cute. I thought it was very adorable. So I just had to leave that tiny section in, even though I had to like blur it, but done that. And basically the way I started, I started out in different faces. So as you might have seen up there, um, coming across the screen, I started with the drawing. So I had a sketch made in my sketchbook with kind of like the colors and a general idea of what I wanted. And that was the basis for the entire piece. Now, I did know in advance that I did not want to cover the entire wall. I wanted to make sure I only had the left tiny section of that room there. And I know that with my daughter, um, if you have not seen it, I have a nursery tour for her room where you can actually see what I've done there. And it's a bit of a bigger room. So we had a bit more space and it was the two of us. So it was just easier to draw it just a bit more. But for this one, the room is just a tiny bit smaller and I only wanted to have this section on there. I did not want to make it too busy with too many things on the walls. And we did not decide to give the walls a color either because white is easiest for us right now. So that's what we went for. So with the trees, I started out at the bottom because I think the groundwork is the hardest on my knees and it's just uncomfortable with like how you're having to lean over and everything. So that's why I started with that. And then I moved up to the top. And I think the easiest for me was the centerpiece because I could just stand, I did not need a ladder. I did not have to sit down on the ground. So that's what I've done. That was kind of my method. I did end up moving or adjusting a few bits and pieces very slightly because 
With the drawing itself, I did not have a ruler next to me or anything, so trying to get straight lines was quite hard. And I did my best as much as possible. So sometimes it's just standing back, looking at the piece and see if everything makes sense. And even when I colored in like the trees with the paint, I was like, eh, I kind of have to make a few adjustments at the bottom side there. But with the paint, it's so easy that you can just go over the areas that you want to add to it, not remove it, add to it. So the trees would look a bit more straight later on. And I'm really glad I made that adjustment because I think I would be quite unhappy if I wouldn't have made that adjustment myself now. So that's why the things there and stand back and make sure and also with like the ropes and in the end i know the ropes with like the cast that is sitting on there they are not straight at all and i know this and i suppose this will bug me a little bit i've kind of accepted it though um but i was like you know what the swing is swinging and that's what it's doing and that's why it just maybe looks a bit more off <laughs> and the calendar is very happy with how everything is supposed to be so you know what it is fine i'm going to make that work and that was no problem at all i did really like as well that with coloring in the trees like this i really wanted to make sure those were done first and it's taupe color and i love how it looks i really love how it looks in our daughter's room and in this room i still love the color just as much and it's the same paint that i've used for her room as well and i think i've done that probably about two years ago now so it's been sitting in the attic for two years. So it needed a good stir once we took the paint out, but it managed to survive and I'm quite impressed. I'm really happy with it. Now, the only thing that is really a shame is that with these kind of things, I could only buy like a certain amount of paint and I wish I could have bought smaller ones. And these cans of paint were just huge and I will end up with so much that we have left. It's unbelievable. Like, especially I have a yellow as well. I've not used yellow in this piece at all. I was thinking about it, but I couldn't really find anything that I was happy with. So I was like, you know what? Instead of just using the color for the sake of using the paint, that would be a shame. But even with the orange as well, there's just so much paint left. So maybe we can find someone who can actually use this paint after us when once we're done or something. But it's very satisfying to see everything come together. So working with the taupe and then seeing everything being filled in, especially like the bigger patches where it's going just a tiny bit faster. It's so satisfying and I've used a small brush and I did use a small brush on purpose because I did not want to ruin anything. I make pretty clean edges with that small brush like I did in my daughter's room. And I just like how that looks more. And yes, I know it takes forever if you're using a small brush with like a piece that is pretty much that big. But yeah, so be it. I'm, I'm really happy that I used it anyway. And I do not regret using that brush at all. Even though it took a while, it doesn't matter. The result is there. So at this point, I've moved on to the leaves as well. I wanted to add in the color, especially because my husband was doing more of the trees. He was helping me out there every now and then whenever he could. So that was absolutely amazing. I just, oh, I couldn't have done that without his help, especially because our daughter is rocking around here too. And I did most of it during her naps. So it was a bit of planning and I wanted to make sure it was recorded as well. So it had to be done in the afternoon during her nap. And her nap is usually only an hour, hour and a half and that's it. So that's all the time he had per day, pretty much. Unless he took her for longer and minded her a bit longer. And seeing as he works from home as well, those days he couldn't take her, but in the weekend, then he definitely could. So thank goodness for that. And that really helped me out a lot. And there were some evenings as well where the sun was really out and it was still really bright. So I figured, well, why not make use of this time and just try and finish this piece? But putting down the leaves was really satisfying as well. Really nice. Um, I did put more leaves on these trees than I did with... Uh, my previous artwork but i'm really happy that i did and i did have something else in mind as well so it's not just going to be 
just the colors i it was making outlines too now for the leaves it was getting quite difficult to see where i put the pencil lines underneath the paint and sometimes i could see it and sometimes i couldn't so that was a bit harder i suppose this is water-based paint and on the areas where i put more paint on you could see it's more obvious of course or you couldn't see it and then the areas where less paint went on you couldn't really see it as easily so that was a bit harder and i suppose sometimes i had to make up where the lines went so that was quite a challenge too but it was a lot of fun putting all the colors on there and i think after all like the brown colors i was so happy to put in some greens and things like that and to get started with the rest basically it felt like the trees were definitely the bulk of the work and i suppose they were and it makes sense but i really want to make sure that oh it's just so nice to start with other colors and feel like you're actually getting somewhere now i did start with the cat on the right tree as well and i've used my brush pen for that so i have a number of brush fine liners or fine liners in general over here and i really i didn't have another way of putting the lines on i was considering getting a paintbrush and doing it with a paintbrush but then i was like those lines are going to be quite thick and i want those lines to be thin and like they should be visible but they should be thin so that was kind of my idea there um so i used my brush fine liner and i started working on the lines for the cats and some lines of the trees and i started testing it out on trees to see if it wasn't big enough and if it wasn't small enough either of course so once I was happy with that, I made sure I continued and I'm really happy I did so. I think those cats are so adorable. I'm so glad I made cats. I don't know why I didn't give my daughter cats. Um, I love cats, you know, I have a cat of my own as well. So I was like, this baby is going to get its own cats. <laughs> so that's what I went for there. And then I made sure I've done the cat on the left tree as well with the outlines because those cats on the outside will have black in them so their spots will be black and i'm filling those in right now as well and i've used a different paint for those because i did not have any other paint anywhere that was water-based um but i had like acrylic paint and i was like you know what i'm just going to use that that is the only black paint in the household that I have. I really want those spots to be black. And I'm just going to use it, you know? It's not a whole lot of black that's going on the wall. And once we're painting over this and the child wants something different, <laughs> we'll figure it out, we'll, um, we'll get rid of it, we'll, we'll patch it up or something. I, I don't know how we're going to do it, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. And then, as you can see, the middle cat on the swing has orange patches. And that was the only orange that we actually used. And as I said, it's such a waste of paint, especially because I don't know or I don't think that we'll be using more. So, yeah, it's... I don't know what we're going to do with it. As I said, maybe we can give it to someone who can use these colors or like these colors as well and can paint more with it or something. I think that is something we'll have to do. And that's probably what's going to happen. So yeah, the putting the line art on is the last phase of the piece. So once everything was done, we, well, we, I had to put the line art on and it was quite a job. It was a lot of lines there and I did not want to miss anything. So I think the trees were the hardest because those lines were quite straight and I did not want to mess up those straight lines. I think it's easier when you have lines that are swirly and things so you don't have to keep the brush in the same angle and you don't have to be so careful of the lines being super perfect. I tried to make them as good as possible with the trees. Now I did have a mistake or two on there, of course I did. Um, but yeah, once the line art was on, you know, it's kind of like there and you can't really fix it. And I suppose that is 
the challenge with paint as well you put something on and you won't be able to fix it so you just have to go with what you have and I don't know how to get rid of it personally um, I'm not a painter I don't usually do this I only do this for the kids and that they have a cute little piece on their wall and I hope when they're older <laughs> they appreciate that I've done that for them I will be making a picture of the artwork and it will be going in their photo albums because they both will get their own photo albums and I just love that I just really enjoyed this and I'm just so happy that I got to do this for both our kids now and I don't know I just really like it it makes it seem more like a kids room and especially when all the furniture goes in which is on order and it's still not here with all the delays that are happening right now but sure you know we'll wait and see it's not a bother at all so here i'm working at the final or on the final cat and oh this was just so much fun i really enjoyed doing this i was happy that it was done though i think after seven and a half hours of actually working on this i just had enough and can you blame me for mostly doing this on my own and you know i just had a lot of fun and i really hope that you guys like this piece as well and maybe this inspires some of you maybe if you're expecting or a friend is expecting and they want a piece like this and you're artistic you can go ahead and offer the same kind of thing to them i know that i like this and i'm really happy with it and i thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time bye